Hello, it's Thursday, August 26th, a cloudy day here in Seoul. I'm Alex Jensen, and these are your daily headlines. South Korea is just a step from becoming the first country in the world to ban Google and Apple from forcing app developers to use their payment systems. A parliamentary committee passed a bill to enforce the ban yesterday, with a final National Assembly vote imminent. The law was submitted last year after Google said it would charge 30% commission on all in-app purchases. This year, it lowered that to 15% for the first US$1 million US dollars of revenue earned by developers, while Apple did the same under growing pressure. Also this week, Google's been told by the Personal Information Protection Commission here to improve its personal information handling measures, while the watchdogs fined Facebook and Netflix over privacy violations. Facebook's been told to pay 6.46 billion won, or nearly $5.6 million, and Netflix, 220 million won, or $189,000. South Korea's fertility rate's fallen to a fresh record low. According to official data, the rate came to 0.84 in 2020, down from 0.92 the previous year, referring to the average number of children a woman bears in her lifetime. This is the only country whose fertility rate has stayed below 1% among 38 OECD member nations. South Korea also recorded its lowest ever number of births for June, and policymakers have warned we could face an age quake from 20. 30 due to a population decline combined with an aging society. Though the total population did inch up last year, with more Koreans returning home amid the COVID-19 pandemic. And the government's reversing a rule that had banned online gaming by under-16s between midnight and 6am. The controversial shutdown system has been in force for the last decade, but will be replaced by a choice system under which under-18s or their legal guardians can select the hours during which gaming is allowed. One of the biggest flaws of the shutdown is that it didn't address the massive rise of mobile gaming, with Korean game developers like Netmarble and NCSoft enjoying a boom in recent years, particularly during the pandemic. Critics also argued the shutdown demonized gaming without solving issues of addiction. Many kids have been able to find loopholes or spend unlimited hours on other online entertainment, aside from games such as video streaming, webtoons and social media. That's it for your daily headlines, but you can check out that link below for more news stories from our official website. And subscribe to Korea Now for constantly added new content.